First of all, Andy, can we stop pushy parents from ruining kids' education? Yeah, I think we can. And uh, all we need to do is take away their reason to push. Uh, if we make every local school a good school, then they won't need to push to get their kids into their favoured choice. The government's choice and diversity agenda is all wrong. The choice and diversity should be inside each school, not between schools. What about when it comes to vocational learning? Do you think um, there's enough availability to uh, children um, within their senior schools? OK, well, I think that um, there's a, a completely false divide between academic education and vocational education. And ATL's view is that the curriculum needs to be completely redevised so that we understand exactly what we mean by learning and that we teach children to learn along with a lot of other skills, uh, social skills and uh, oral skills. Uh, and others so that they can really maximise their potential so that all children can and not just those who have some academic bent. I suppose parents have to be educated on the value of this as well. Absolutely. There's a huge academic snobbery that the only qualification that's worth having is a, a, a GCSE A star. Well that's not true and there are ways in which we can do that but we really do need to educate the whole uh, of the country really into thinking more carefully about what we want our schools to give to our kids. Do you think parents though can ever truly be dispassionate about this? I wouldn't want them to be dispassionate. I want them to care deeply about what happens to their children but I want them to care about the things that really matter and not whether or not their kid has got better GCSE results than the kid down the road so that they can get into their choice of sixth form college and their choice of university. That's not really a very helpful attitude for anyone to hold and they should, each parent should be looking for their child to do as well as they can do you think the uh, teachers are maybe too scared to tell parents that they may be wrong in, in pushing their children? Uh, there's huge pressure, obviously, for schools to have a good relationship with parents and for the reputation of the school to be maintained because schools are placed in a competitive position. And it would be very nice, I agree, um, if parents could see teachers as professionals to whom they could go for advice about how best to help their children. And finally, say, throw forward to 2025, uh, 20 years, whatever, in the future, do you think things will significantly have changed? Uh, it depends how much power is still held by the universities, the exam boards, and whether or not we can persuade governments of whichever description that really we're going down the wrong path and we need to catch up with all the other countries in the OECD. Andy Bell, thank you very much. Thank you.